Hello and welcome back to Oblivion today. I'm lost and trying to work out where I'm meant to go. Uh, looks like there is more through here. But I don't see it. Oh, straight down. This goes very deep then. Skeleton and another skeleton. Ow. That's a very powerful bow, whatever it is. Bow of blizzards. Void essence. I think the zombie fell through the floor. That's the zombie, of course. I suppose I go this way, then. Hello. That's a lot of damage. My arm is broken yet again. Fifteen. Certainly getting close. Please tell me she's through here. Yes. Although she's screaming. Or making someone else scream. Don't worry. If you die, I will bring you back to life. We have much left to accomplish. Does this hurt more or less than last Ah. Very interesting. Ah! No! No! Please indicate on a scale of one to ten how much pain you are feeling at this moment. It appears this level of pain causes you some distress. No, no! Make it stop! 
Make it stop! This pain threshold is different, isn't it? I get the feeling she's a bit unhinged. You! I remember you! You're the adventurer who slew my gatekeeper, are you not? Yeah, and um, I need another one. The ends justify the means, do they? You'll pay for that one day. Now, by all means, come right in. Walk in here as if you own the place. By what authority do you disturb me? Uh, by the authority of Sheagorath. I see. Sheagorath is too important to come on his own account. He sends his mortal lackey. Yep. Well then, I trust my servants didn't give you too hard a time getting in here. <laughs> What is it Sheagorath's lackey requires of me? Another gatekeeper. Oh, does he now? Will you lend us your powerful magic? Yes, powerful magic indeed. It is proper that you bid me kindly, lest I show you the meaning of pain and suffering. Of course. Alas, I am still distraught over the destruction of my sweet child. I cannot return to his womb. You must do this. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone. There you will gather mystical components needed for the ceremony. Go fetch me blood liqueur! Osseous marrow, dermis membrane, and essence of breath. And take this key. It will allow entry into the gardens and give you direct access to my sanctum. Okay. Tell me more about the components. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone and collect for me these things. Blood liqueur, osseous marrow, Dermis Membrane, and the Essence of Breath. Alright, how do I collect them? Are you not the Exalted Duke, Slayer of the Great Gatekeeper, Champion of our mighty Lord Sheagorath? Perhaps. I'm sure you'll be able to find these things. If not, perhaps Sheagorath's faith in you is misplaced. Go now. You try my patience. No, oh dear. Um... Gardens of Flesh and Bone. For many years, I labored painstakingly in those gardens until my back bent and my soul became crooked. But the fruits born of that labor were the essential components of true flesh. You will go there and gather the components needed to bring my new child into this world. Okay. Heard any rumors? <laughs> if you have to fight a flesh atronach, a good shock spell is the way to go. Really? Oh, you mean my research subjects? Don't trouble yourself with their fates. They're volunteers of one sort and another. Besides, they are furthering important research into the nature of pain and suffering, of life and death. Don't be concerned. I always return the worthy ones to life. Besides, Lord Sheagorath has sanctioned my studies and my methods. Any loyal servant of the Mad God would respect his decision in this matter. Of course. I'm glad you are reasonable and open-minded. Perhaps Sheagorath's faith in you isn't misplaced after all. Now let's not speak of this again. Right. Away with you, dog, and fetch me those components. Whoa! Oh! Uh, I, uh, no, no, Thank you no. for your assistance in my research. Uh, I, uh, no, no, no! <laughs> hmm. oh. Is this too much pain? I hope this is as much fun for you as it is for me. This better be good or you'll regret it. 
I'll assume she's off. Hopefully she revives the others. And hopefully I have a shortcut out of here. I do, it seems. Right. The garden shouldn't be far from here. No. Very close. Saint. Hopefully the gardens are still intact. Hmm, there's something there. A saint. Hardly recognize this place. Kind of reminds me of um, the Soul Gem place in Skyrim. It's from the Vampire DLC. Hopefully it's easy enough to find the stuff. That's the exit. Guess I have to get past the route somehow. Oh, right. An organic lever. side it seems
two of the components are in this area, it seems. Ten lives. Dawn thing. Hopefully I am going the right way. Suppose I'll get this one first. Oh! It's the nearest. That way, then. Ah! It should be through here. Yes. From here. Up here. That's two. 
No, just go back, I guess. In the way I came, anyway. Ugh. Should almost be done. I think it was only three components. the breath of life, that's why it's making that weird noise. skill up. Seem to be right on it. It's underneath then. Ha! No. How do I get it then? <sighs> Let's get over here. Yes, is there something you require? Gardens. The gardens of flesh and bone are where sorceress Verinim lived and worked for many years. It is there she experimented with her sixth element in order to create the original gatekeeper. The gardens are in the fringe near Passwall. Uh, beware, your grace. Creatures of the sorceress's doing and undoing haunt those tunnels. Right. A glorious existence, truly. Anything in the quest log? Hmm. No. Well, I'm not sure what I do then. Perhaps I have to get the other one first. it here for today anyway and um come back in the next episode where i have some idea of what i'm supposed to be doing so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one